Hey guys, it's Michael Todd and welcome to the Cult of Vintage. Today we are back in Tip City, otherwise known as Tip Canoe, here in Ohio, and we are back at Midwest Memories Antique Store. Let's get inside and see what we can find. Here we go. So that you are aware, they are open Saturdays 10 to 5, Sunday to Monday 12 to 4, Tuesdays and Friday 11 to 4. It's the red door. We love it. Let's do it. Well, let's check it out. One of my favorite booths. Oh, they got a lot of the creepy babies set up right now. Now, obviously, I like the porcelain. We've got a lot of compositions here, and that's okay. Some people prefer their compositions over porcelain. Now, you do see this little book here. It's only a doll. Oh, she's front and back. It's really cute. It's $2 stitched together this is a reproduction yep printed in hong kong but that's still cool to see two dollars really not that bad especially if you like it what an absolutely beautiful display there's obviously a love and a passion there's a strong aesthetic here which i think is fantastic i love it oh look at this old clock with the baby in it I like to see it. We've got some little Halloween blah, 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 Halloween die cuts here. We are transitioning, uh, as the owner said, from Halloween into Christmas. And I really love the transition periods in the antique malls. Oh, Chloe, what have we got? Anything? Um, it's beautiful. I mean, you can see, look, there's a tinsel tree with the black cat. <laughs> Ooh. This is special. Oh, I love it. Look at that. That's grand. That's so good. I wonder if it's for sale. Look at all the little bits and bobs. I mean, you want to talk about repurposing. Look at the little purse with things in it. It is for sale. She's at $268. I'm not mad at that. I mean, just to find all of those pieces, let alone the work, putting it together. Oh, that's so good. Ooh. Check over here and see. Mm, I don't see anything for me. That's okay. We're going to keep it going, guys. Here we go. Let's head on down into this portion of the mall. We're going to... Oh, and there's Halloween. <laughs> Listen, I'm not opposed to picking up Halloween, even though it's the day before. Today is the 30th. Tomorrow, the 31st see here fun to learn flip charts for the human anatomy these look a bit diabolical not gonna lie welcome friends oh this is beautiful oh, look at that oh you can rearrange it that is fabulous oh Love that. Well, I've not seen this one before. Did someone cut out the orange? What's going on with that? I think they did. They kind of snipped up. They turned it into a mask. Oh, here's this piece. I feel like this one is a good, good piece. 35. Holland Floral Incorporated. <laughs> I like this chest here too. It's tin. That one's 160. M I C K E Y. Let's not get demonetized. Snow White.
Um, you to lay here to greet my love. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about that to greet my love. Ooh, a couple little wave crest here. 20 on that one. The muffineer. Okay, okay, okay. Mm. Do you spy something I'm not spying? What's this shell? Souvenir from Troy. <laughs> okay. Alright, well, let me see if we can find something here for resale. Ooh, this looks like some Swedish glass over here. Yeah. Ooh, she is nice and thick. Not a whole lot of waffling in the glass. Love that mid-century piece. Do I think it looks really good in a modern home? That one's at $16. i am going to get that for $16. Thank you. And we have some Ellie Smith and some Fenton over here. Got a little bit of the amber. We've got some Valencia. Listen, I'm not going to ever stop getting Valencia just because I love saying Valencia. <laughs> 24. Okay. And do I like you? It's at 18. I kind of dig it. I'm not going to lie. Y'all, I'm a huge sucker for the amber and the green. I just am. I don't know what it is. Oh, we've got a, is this? Look at these. 35. Little ashtrays. I'm gonna, okay, that seems a little spendy for my purposes, but this stuff, we're definitely gonna pick up all of these pieces. That, I really like that. I don't know why. It's vintage at best. It's $5. It is. I can't tell. Does it say China or Japan? It's I can make out made. Hmm. I like the scuffs on it. Hmm. Oh. I'm gonna hold off on it. I'm disappointing myself a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. I do see this. Look at that. Is it like a little baby blanket? Let me unfold it here. So I'm digging the colors. It's a child's afghan. It's $15. There is, it appears somebody has like tried to, there's some, been some unraveling and there was like some embroidery floss back here that's coming undone. So I'm going to hold off on that piece too. But great for the appropriate collector. Okay, this booth looks interesting. I don't know, I think it is still all one vendor, but they've kind of reconfigured things. So it's almost like there's two different spots. First one up. That looks hand painted to me. Yes, I'm seeing some brush strokes. $42. Now I need it to be a little porcelain box. Hand-painted, $10. Definitely vintage. It's a bit crude, the painting. So I think $10 is a great price, but we want the bougie. Little pincushion, oink, 32. This is beautiful. 152. Ooh, this looks like a Harmony Kingdom piece. Harmony Garden, four dollars. I never, I didn't know they made a garden series. What's inside waiting for us? Oh, oh my word, it's a little village. Somebody got beheaded. 
it's broken. See? I think it got broken. I think they're missing a head. Dang. That's cute. I didn't know they made those. Gotta get it on there. Just right. Um. Oh, there's another one. Oh, that one is really pretty, y'all. Ooh. That's $8. I just knocked the... Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm going to go over this. Oh, there's another price. Oh, I'm going to stick both in that one. Oh my word. It's a ladybug helping the bunny. Ooh, it's so cute. So there it is. $8. I'm going to pick that up for sure. Let me not forget that other tag. <laughs> okay, let's go from there to over here. Let's see... Oh, we're getting set up for Christmas. Any more? I kind of like her. More of a Japan piece with some transfer wear on there. A little milk glass booty. Some hand painting on there for... Come over here. Mm, I don't see anything for me, for us, I should say. Let's peep over here. What's this? Oh, bunch of trees. $18. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm assuming this is ten. Here's eleven. Uh, a lot of the chalkware. Royal Dalton. All right, well, we got something at least, darn it. Okay, here we are at the Scotty Dog collection. Now, they do. The vendor does have um, more items besides Scotty, but you, I always have to focus on this. And I got the opportunity to meet them, and they're very nice people, too. So if you are in the market for some Scotty Dogs, you definitely know where to come. But over here, then it kind of slowly transitions into... Ooh, now this one's at 85. I don't know that we're gonna be able to get a Royal Dalton vase. Look at that gorgeous, beautiful vase. Oh, here's a little Viking. Amber with the clear flower frog. That one's at 25. It's great for a collector anymore. That Viking glass now. Something that I really see that has definitely caught my eye is look at that opaline. Look at that. Gorgeous. That one's at 30. Okay. I want to get this. It's beautiful. Oh, I love that. Oh, I love that. Do you see how the light plays on that? Ooh, okay, cool. Really loving this piece right now. <laughs> uh. The famous automobile card game, Improved Edition. I wonder what this is about. Okay, so here we are down on the floor. It is from Parker Brothers, the famous automobile card game, Touring. And then it has the little rule paper in here. It appears that these are all of the same backings. You flip it over. Collision, 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 puncture, out of gasoline, country, punk. Uh, this is really interesting. Let me see if I can get a comp on this. Okay, well, we got our comp on it. They are priced appropriately, so there's just no money for me on it, but it is cool to see nonetheless. So we're going to box her back up, and we'll see what else we can find. 
Now this is cool. It is what they have listed as a 1920s Seville art magazine rack. The little pan action here. It's unusual because it seems that it's a female pan that's being depicted, which is uncommon. Um, 125. I think that's very fair, but we're gonna pass on it. I love these reproduction ones. These are cute. Gobble gobble. That sounds. <laughs> Okay, so far so good. Now I have checked some other booze. I haven't found anything else. I'm going to try going downstairs. Um, we'll see how that goes. Typically I don't find a lot down here, but I can never leave any stone unturned. All right. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and set the basket down here. Okay. Cookie cutters for all occasions. Let's see. Ooh, a little rusty. $9. That's not bad. I'm not in love with it, though. Anything else for off? No. Let's see if we can find something though. Yeah, I'm just not seeing anything for us today. Close, but no cigars. So I'm going to head back upstairs and see if there's some other goodies that we can't find. Let's not forget the basket though. Here we go. I do spot these over here. I'm a little curious. Make sure I don't. Hmm. More contemporary. It's like seed glass with all of those bubbles in there. It is a specific technique. $20 for the set. I mean, I'm not mad at that. It's cute. Definitely more of a contemporary piece. All right, let's see what else we can get into. Well, this space looks way different than the last time we were here. This was more like kind of, I don't want to call it salvage, but they were larger pieces. So that's kind of shocking. Now this, I believe, was here or it got moved, but this is definitely a new space. But it's more contemporary decor. Okay, so we do have some remnants because I do remember that Brock candy store display. Um, but over here, this, my goodness, it's the mid-century realness that we've got going on. A little bit of the bohemian vibe thrown in there. Now, I don't see anything specifically for us. I do like the blending of the depression wear in with it. Just goes to show, while you might find that, the yellow depression a little bit more common. Look at what you can do with it in a modern decor. Um, some of the Belgian bubble jars over here. I'm not overly excited about them. I feel like you can find them pretty commonly. This piece, though, I feel like I actually have that display cabinet that this might actually work really well for it. Hmm. This is at 125. Because I have a top that this could work with. Hmm. Here I am by trying to look at more furniture, Michael. I feel like the tone is correct. This is more vintage than necessarily antique, but golly, I could get a lot in there, that's for sure. Let's look at the joints here. Yeah, it's definitely vintage. Um, it would still serve its purpose. I like the fact that the pulls are automatic on that one. Hmm. I'm going to pass on it, though. I'm going to behave. Um, and we do have some antique glass on here, though. Looks to be like a traditional Northwood 
down here. 18 for that beautiful pattern. Ooh. Look at how lacy and delicate that is. I actually dig these roosters right here too. Oh my no. geez. Okay, calm down. Shh. Everybody settle. Contemporary. They almost look like they're Lennox. Are these salt and pepper shakers? What? Oh my gosh, they are. <laughs> Those are bougie. 22. Vintage handmade in Thailand. Need stopper. Oh, these are interesting. Adhesive and vitamin. They look old. 24. Set up two apothecary jars. Hmm. That's interesting. I like the colors on those. Let's see if I can get a comp on these little ones. You know what? At $20, they $24, pardon me, they appear to be what is commonly a French porcelain. A little bit of paint loss. So I'm going to go ahead and take a chance on these and get both of them. Okay, we've got some more mid-century vibes going on here. Uh, the barware. I'm not mad at it. It just doesn't do that well. Some Viking amber. The single candle. Oh. What does it say it with me? Say it with me, ladies and gentlemen. It's Valencia. Is it damaged? This is great for fall. Okay, let's get this one too. I love it. That's a beautiful display. This though is really capturing. What? I kind of want to see if, it, if you could feel that. I didn't know. Am I doing that right? Oof, lordy. This is interesting. I've not seen this particular piece before either. This one's definitely a Viking at 32. Go ahead, say it. Valencia. 98. This one's interesting. Fenton. I'll get that at 26. I'm not scared. Forty-eight. I'm gonna hold off on those. I really want this though. It's pretty. That is how it's supposed to work, right? Up there. Oh, it's a little. Is that where the flame comes from? <sighs> Darn. But we'll get some Fenton. Provocative, my. Here we've got the Sumerso glass technique. Let's make sure we get both hands on this one because they have a tendency to be quite heavy. This, look at those bubbles. So, inspired but all of those inclusions in there definitely need to believe that it's more of an impersonation piece imposter if you will though it is only priced at 45 dollars this isn't Murano though um, okay I think that's it make sure I'm not forgetting this. This Hager frog is cute, but he's missing an eye. Let's see. Little frog bank. Um, yeah, I think that's going to be it for in here. Look at that little haul. I am really digging it. We're going to do the final wrap-up outside, you guys. 
Alrighty guys, well there you have today's Shop With Me video back here at Midwest Antiques in Tip City, Ohio. I match the tree, get it. Uh, so anyhow you guys, I hope you did have a good time today. Uh, I think we found some great stuff. Lots of Valencia, Valencia, that's for sure. As always, down in the comments, let me know what your favorite find of the day was or the item you wished I had most picked up. Either works and you know I'd appreciate it. And until next time, remember, keep it rusty, crusty, and dusty. Bye guys.